What do you do, y'all? Welcome back to more Ace Attorney. In the last episode, we exposed Red White for the liar that he is, and now we'll prove once and for all why he couldn't have been in the gate water at that time of the murder. A person in the hotel could not have seen the light stand before it fell over. And here's the proof. Take a look at this. These are the floor plans to the scene of the murder, yes? Ding, 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 correct you are, Your Honor. You are well on your way towards winning that showcase showdown. But first, if I could have a moment of the court's time, and they say a picture's worth a thousand words, and I know you're a visual guy, Your Honor, so let me make it real simple for you. If you were to look at the hotel window at the office, this is the area that you would be able to see right here. Well, notice anything? The stand is not within the visible area, so unless Mr. White has some sort of go-go gadget periscope glasses, there's no way you would have been able to see it. Well, Mr. White, what do you have to say to that? Uh, uh, ridiculous. Lossity. We've already established the fact that you like to make up words and I've proven that you like to make up stories. If you really were in the Gatewater Hotel as you claim, there's no way you could have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as a light stand. So tell me, when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell. And the only place that you could have seen that from is inside the Fanco Lofts. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place! Yeah. Mr. White? You did it, didn't you? Mr. L Your Honor? Ah, uh, ah, uh, Miss Mia? Oh. Huh. <laughs> Looks like we're finally about to get our verdict. Objection! That's far enough, Phoenix Wright. I am about to have a John McEnroe-like meltdown up in this courtroom. You cannot be serious, Edgeworth! Mr. White, I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crime now, hmm? Uh, wh what I said you should confess your crime, ergo. Confess that you placed the wiretap! The wiretap? Don't nobody care about that! What he should be confessing to is murdering me a fay! Order! Order! Mr. Edgeworth, explain to the court what you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court, Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. If by slightly confused you mean guilty of murder, then yes! As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices of Miss Fay. What does that have to do- Your Honor, the question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office? And by who? No way, are you really gonna go through all of this just so you can maintain your precious win record? Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you entered Miss Fay's office. Am I correct? And that, boys and girls, is called leading the witness. Oh, correct You are most correct, Miles. I know technically I should have objected, but then we would have missed out on the freakout face. Yes. In order to place the wiretap, I breached the Fanco law offices. That is when I saw that accursed light stain. Accursed? Overpriced, maybe, but come on. Now I'm confused. Please explain to the court what this all means, Mr. Edgeworth. Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand. Thus, Mr. Wright would like you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. I see. However, it is a fact that Mr. White had been to that office well before the murder took place. He went to place the wiretap. He could have seen the glass light stand then. Ergo, Mr. Phoenix Wright's theory is revealed for the baseless conjecture it is. Sticks and stones, Edgeworth. Mr. White, you will testify to the court about this wiretap. Still shiny. Ahem. Leave it to me. Can someone tell me what in the world happened to this case in the last two and a half minutes? I should be brushing confetti off my jacket right about now. It was the beginning of September, a week before the murder. I had entered the Fang Co. Law Offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That's when I saw this glass light stand. Hmm. 
So, you saw the stand before the night of the incident, and this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over. By the sound? Correct! That is so! I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine. Okay, I know this looks kind of bad, but... Good luck, Phoenix. As long as I got a bay woman by my side, there's no way I can lose. It was the beginning of September, a week before the murder. Wait a second. Do you have any proof to back this up? Objection! Miss April May knew the details of Miss Faye's phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. That proves... Yeah, you're right. I had entered the Fang Co. Law Offices. You don't strike me as the type of guy to get your own hands dirty. Was it really you or one of your underlings? Objection! Unidentified fingerprints several days old were found in the Fay and Co. Law Offices. Those were obviously Mr. White's. And if I know Edgy, he's already testing them. Now, Mr. White. Tell us why you went to the Fay & Co. law offices. I had done so to place the wiretap. You just got all the answers, don't you? So maybe you can tell me why'd you tap Mia's phone in the Objection. first place? That has no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. Your Honor, I would like to move for a bad court thingy. Tsk, tsk. I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. The time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought. Honorably. Which is the opposite of what you did. Mr. Wright? Are you giving up? Phoenix. Wait. Phoenix, over here. I know that voice, but it can't be. Never give up, Phoenix. In the immortal words of Stan Bush, never surrender, never say die, because you got the touch. And I know that's combined in the choruses of two different songs, but who cares, because Mia Fey is back in... Why are we back in the waiting lobby? What the heck happened? Oh, that's right. I lost the trial. And then, I guess I must have just been hallucinating thinking I saw Mia. Jeez, that's pretty wacky. I probably shouldn't tell people, wait, Mia's back again! Yeah, you're finally awake. Yeah, what are you doing here? This is crazier than when I got a scooter for hey, Yaxmas! Phoenix? Gak? That's no way to greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. Okay, but just for the record, I said yak, not gak. And are you Maya? Didn't you know the Fey women have strong psychic powers? When you accepted your defeat in court, it appears that was enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. Well, yeah, that was my plan all along, so... That's right. I am Maya, but I'm also Mia. Now, I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's what I came here to tell you. I thought you came to tell me you were sad we didn't get to go out for drinks. We don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen, you've already won. Maybe if it was opposite day. You have had that receipt in the court record, right? Yeah, I was gonna rip it up and use it to make spitballs to shoot at Edgeworth, but- Phoenix, White wrote that, not me. So, so what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. The front? Why, is there a coupon for Froyo or something? It's just a regular receipt, there's no coupons at all. Looks like it's from a famous department store. A thousand dollars? Wow, big spender. I should ask for a raise. Item, glass, light stand, date of purchase, September the 4th. I still don't... Wait a second. September the 4th? That's right, Phoenix. I bought that stand the day before I was killed. Whoa. Now, what did Mr. White say in his testimony? It was the beginning of September, a week before the murder. He said he saw the stand the week before the murder. There you go. I think the court is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent. You just have to prove it. To quote my own last name. Receipt updated in the court record. Wait a minute, Bridget's back? Everything's coming up Millhouse. September 9th, 1.16 p.m. District Court. Courtroom number one. Hey, Bridget. You're my number one. The court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Is the defendant, rather, are you alright, Mr. Wright? Your Honor, I'm walking on sunshine and it's starting to feel good. Then let's start where we left off. Your Honor, there is nothing to go back to. The cross-examination of Mr. White is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant, Phoenix Wright. Hmm. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. Edgeworth, I want you to know I heard what you said. I just thought it was stupid. Come on, Your Honor, give me one more chance. I pinky promise this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm. 
But as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? I say, let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. I feel alive, I feel the love, I feel I'm gonna win this case. I feel alive, I feel the love, I'm gonna smack Red in his face with some evidence, of course. Cause I may not be good at singing, but I am awesome at lawyering. Look closely at this. See the word Meyer written on it in blood? <laughs> You're grasping. You're interrupting, and that's just plain rude. Edgeworth, why don't you take a look at the other side of the receipt? <laughs> The other side? Yeah, a piece of paper have two sides, you know. Your Honor, could you tell the court what's written on the other side of the receipt? Hmm. Well, a glass light stand and the date of purchase. Why, that's the day before the murder. The day before the murder? Well, would you look at that. Mr. White, when you allegedly entered Fay and Co. law offices at the beginning of September, there's no way you could have seen the stand because Mia hadn't even bought it yet. I don't really know how to respond to that. This isn't something that they covered in law school, like, ever. No! It's impositivable! So, uh, what kind of ETA are we looking at on the bailiff? Because White's clearly losing it, so we're gonna get some handcuffs on him soon? I mean, I understand, Your Honor, there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. But I think you'll agree. You can't judge me guilty under these circumstances, can ya? Hmm. Very well. Then, that is all for the trial of- OBJECTION! Here we go. Not so fast, Phoenix Wright! What a surprise! Once again, Edgeworth kicks over the Monopoly board because he was losing. What, are you gonna take your ball and go home? Here you go, the floor is all yours, Miles. Show the world why you've won the Sore Loser Award for the last four years. There is a certain thread of logic to the defendant's claims. However, there is no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. Why is the burden of proof on me? I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need time to make one more inquiry mm. into this matter. Your Honor, he just wants to make me sit in the detention center for another day. Or else it's going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. I can't just wait and see what happens. I'm gonna object, but I'm not gonna yell or point, because sometimes I like to mix things up. Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There's no need mm. to prolong this trial any further. Well, Mr. Edgeworth? If anyone is going to call Mr. White to trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I need a day to ascertain whether your claims have any basis in factual evidence. Hmm, I see. Objection denied. Wait, Judge, don't you want to have tomorrow off? I'll take you to play mini golf. The completion of the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow. That's it. My offer of mini golf is officially off the table, Your Honor. Edgeworth is sure to come up with or just make up something. And after Mia came back and Bridget, I'm not leaving this courtroom until I get confetti. Mr. Your Honor, may I go home? Of course. Thank you for your time. This is why we're not playing putt-putt tomorrow. The witness will stay. Wait, Mia, I thought you were a figment of my imagination. Phoenix, read this note out loud. Today, on a very special episode of Ace Attorney, Phoenix's dark secret is revealed. He never learned to read! No, I'm just kidding. Your Honor, if I may... You're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. Well, you know how it goes when you're on trial for murder and then the victim of that murder comes back and stands next to you in court and oddly enough, no one says anything. But in any case, I have something that I would like to read, Your Honor. The memo that Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. There were people in finance, famous celebrities, like Charles S. Watson, the man who invented the peanut butter cracker. And that's when it happened. S -s stop Desist! Halt! P please stop! Make him stop! How? How did you get that list? Mr. White, admit your guilt right here, right now, or else this list will be released to the press. <gasps> oh, I... I confess. I confess. I... I did it. I hit her! I hit Miss Mia with the thinker! Case closed, Your Honor. Well, I see no reason to continue this trial. 
Mr. Wright? If this is about mini golf, the answer's no. You've done it again. That was quite a spirited defense. Well, you know, I can't take all the credit. It was a team effort. We really came together and got it done. Hmm. Well, this court finds the defense. <clears throat> Rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright, not guilty. And aren't you forgetting something? There we go. I told you I wasn't leaving without my confetti. That is all. The court is adjourned. The court is a mess. I feel bad for whoever has to sweep this up. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again. But, congratulations. You're lucky I was born a fae. Mia, I'd be lucky to have you in my life even if you didn't have special powers. You win, Maya. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me and Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. That's an interesting choice of words. What exactly is your status? My time here is running out. What are we talking about, like 70 more years? Maya's powers are still weak. I can't stay here that long. But no, you gotta stay. There's still so much to say. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Like when? Tomorrow, Chief? <laughs> I'm not the Chief anymore. Phoenix, can you come to the office tonight? Say, 9 o'clock? The office? I'll see you later. Oh, but you know what? I think the office is technically considered a crime scene for the rest of the day, so what if we just met up across the street at the uh, Gatewater Hotel? I just hear they had really good iced coffee. No, that's fine. We'll meet at the office. Sure, we have a coffee pot here. We have a couch for sure. You came. Well, not yet. Okay, I'm done with jokes. I was kind of worried you might not. Chief, I would go to the ends of the earth for you. Well then, I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? Burger? Mia? <laughs> You should see your face! Mia? What are you talking about? It's me, Maya! Maya, what are you doing here? What? Did I look like my sister? Look like you were her! At least I think so. I'm a little confused still. Hmm, I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Is that really your Mia impression? And why are you here? Because of this. See? Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. I am a grown man, okay? But if you wanted to pack my lunch, that'd be fine. She means the office. This office. Someone has to help with the new Wright & Co. law offices, right? And who better but me, Maya Faye, reporting for duty. Wait, no. On second thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick. Maya here, ready to get down to business. You don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name. Mia said that's what your friend Larry calls you. Nick? You know what this means? We're partners! I've known her for less than a week and she's already made partner in a law firm. Maya, you go, girl. Good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here, watching. Right! Okay, Nick, let's do it. Huh? Do, do what? Burgers, dummy. Burgers. There's a great burger joint just down the street. Come on! Time's a-wasting. <laughs>